The FZ25 has been India's best 250cc commuting motorcycle and it's been so for a long time. It does not give you a performance fuel ride like the Duke 250 does. Rather, it's a much more grown up and a mature motorcycle. And with the BS6 update to the engine, the Yamaha has also upgraded the looks and they are claiming that it is much more than a facelift. In BS6 form, the 249cc air-cooled single-cylinder engine actually produces 0.5 PS more than the BS4 mil. The torque figures have also gone up by an astonishing 0.1 Newton meters. I know that the change in the figures are not very drastic, but at least you're producing less pollution. Still, the engine is very impressive when it comes to riding. Since this is a commuter motorcycle, the torque is very prominent in the low and mid range of the bike. Overtaking and going into triple digit speeds isn't a problem at all for this motorcycle. In the BS6 FZ25, you get a lot of new things because of the facelift like the new headlight setup that you've got. You've got these new body panels and you've got a lighter body overall which approximately weighs up to 153 kgs. At the same time, you've got this really nice wide rear tyre for better grip, a new instrument panel and you've got an amazing advanced midship muffler cover. Although it sounds like a silencer for a rifle, it's just an added plastic over the stock muffler just to give it a better look according to Yamaha. You also get an underbelly cover to save your bike from rock chips and stones. You now also get some OEM accessories for the FZ25 like brush guards and an elongated visor. The suspension is now a 7-step adjustable suspension and the brakes are now 282mm in the front and 220mm in the rear accompanied by a dual channel ABS system. You can now opt for a higher and a new trim in the FZ25 range, the FZS25, in which you get three new color schemes. My personal favorite has to be the patina green with the golden wheels. Hashtag make green great again. But the Yamaha FZ25 is up against some really serious competition because very recently, Bajaj just came out with the baby Dominar, the 250. When you ride the FZ25, you can clearly see where the pros and cons are when you compare it to the Dominar 250. The Dominar is far more suited for longer journeys because of its riding position, but when it comes to city riding, it might feel a little bit more cumbersome. The FZ25 is the exact opposite. We aren't doubting the FZ storing skills, but we would like to say that this bike's natural habitat is the urban jungle. The FZ25 can zip around through lanes and traffic jams without any issues. But there are a few places where the Dominar holds the FZ25 by its throat. The engine of the Dominar produces a whopping 7 bhp and 3.5 Nm of more torque and whereas the engine found in the Yamaha is just a single overhead cam, the engine in the Dominar is a dual overhead cam. Another place where the Dominar trumps the FZ25 is in the number of gears it has. The FZ25 comes with 5 gears whereas in the Dominar you get 6. But then again, the Yamaha strikes back because the FZ25 has better mileage, 43 km to the litre as compared to the 35 km to the litre of the Dominar 250 and a larger fuel tank of 14 litres as compared to 13 litres found on the Bajaj. The FZ25 is a very city-oriented motorcycle as compared to the Dominar which gets its cross-country pedigree from its older sibling. But there are still two more pros which will make you lean towards the FZ25 as compared to the Domina. For starters, it's 8,000 rupees more cheaper than the Domi. And at the end of the day, you're getting a Japanese motorcycle. Hashtag BR46. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you liked the video and also the new FZ25 from Yamaha. We would also like to thank Shelar Yamaha for helping us by providing this motorcycle to us and for any other 
enquiries with Yamaha, please do check them out. Thank you.